what is up party people so here's the thing here i am like sitting here i'm thinking like it's a sunday i'd really love to do a baking video for you guys because i didn't vlog at all last week like had my camera did anybody else just hear that okay i swear to god i thought i just heard the door open but my camera was in my purse every day did i vlog hell no i didn't vlog Oh, it's the TV. They're trying to push a cow back in. Hold on. Okay, now that we fix that, and just for clarification, they were trying to push a cow into a barn. I'm watching Alaskan Bush people. We are waiting for the premiere tonight. Woo! Nine o'clock tonight. I'm so excited. Who are we kidding? Though I go to bed at eight, but I had to turn that down. So here's my thing. The uh, the 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 vlog. Where was I going with this? Oh yes, the camera was in my purse all week. Didn't vlog not for one moment, and then it happened to be like. Friday and I was like I should go get my vlogging camera and I should vlog and I was like Really Paige you think now that the whole week has passed that you should vlog good idea So I was trying to think like what could I do today? What can I bake that would be like awesome? So naturally here I am like sifting through my recipes and my dad is like um, you know what you should make chocolate chip cookies and I was like um you know I wasn't really thinking about chocolate chip cookies and he's like you haven't made chocolate chip cookies in a long time and everybody loves chocolate chip cookies and I was just like heh so then now they had to go my parents had to go scuttle about and do an errand I think that they had to run somewhere to buy something I don't know which of course I was like please give me a Diet Coke with Light Ice while you're gone thanks and um while they're out I thought I would start this and then when he comes back and they're like what are you baking I'm gonna be like uh banana nut muffins but I think I'm gonna make him chocolate chip cookies because it really has been a long time since I've made him chocolate chip cookies and I was looking for my bags of ingredients that I have and I just made like the most horrendous mess looking for these fucking bags of ingredients like what's so funny is I looked for them for like a half hour and then after I was done looking for them I was like oh I remember where I put them I went to the cupboard pulled them out like they were right there but now I've created a redonkulous mess over here. So we have to try and deal with that. We've got to deal, I've got to deal with a lot of situations. But as a side note, can we talk about like a delicious fucking snack right now? So these are where like my mom picked these out. These are the Jack's Special Seasoned Tortilla Chips with Stone Ground Non-GMO White Corn. These are amazing, number one. Number two, you pair it with like my favorite salsa of all time. This is the Garden Fresh Sweet Onion Salsa. Do you see this combo right here? Look at that. Look at it. Remember it. So good. Again, Garden Fresh Sweet Onion Salsa. I am obsessed with sweet onion salsa. And you pair that with these chips. I mean, really, you pair it with any chips and it's delicious. But these chips are so good. And we also picked up the, uh, we were craving tortilla chips the other day. So we also paired uh, where we picked up the Margaritaville Thick Cut. I already know I love those. So we were trying these and I was just like, oh my God. Like, I can't even function. I love chips on like a non-healthy level like oh chips are already not healthy when i get involved eh, mind blown like i'm 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 obsessed with chips i love chips so chip 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 now that we got that out of the way let's talk about these cookies because i know that i can whip them out relatively fast so i think that's what i'm gonna try to do <laughs> as a fat kid i reserve the right to make any facial or noise expressions that i need to make to get my love of food across i reserve that right so what is there to talk about let's make some damn chocolate chip cookies and then lie about it sound good so preheat oven to 375 i felt so bad too because my mom has been like cleaning all morning and then she's like what are you doing can i help you with something and i was like no i can find it me because like i'm convinced like i want to find it like I rock. I know where everything is. Side note, not fucking true, Paige. You don't know shit. And uh, she's like, what are you looking for? And I was like, um, nothing. I can find it myself. Okay, can I please change the time on this? Thank you. And I, so I destroy the kitchen. I throw all the bags and the pots and the pans everywhere. And then I finally find what I'm looking for. And Ma goes, I knew right where that was. And then she looks around and she's like, what'd you do to my kitchen? And I was like, I love you, Mom. I'm going to take care of it. I love you. She's like, people are going to think we don't ever clean our kitchen. I'm like, oh, no, Mom. Where I'm involved, people know you clean the kitchen. People just know that I'm a hot damn mess. So we're good. So let's make some cookies. Now, let's get to the mixer. 
See, what gets me about this is I make chocolate chip cookies so often that I actually have like my ingredients all bagged together. Like here is the sugar, the this, the this, the this, all together. Here is the this and the this, all together. Like, oh, I love it. Oh, and my God, you guys. Oh, I have the best green grapes that have ever come to any store, ever. These things, look at these green grapes. Just look at them. Do you see this green grape? So good. Mm. Like, they were so good. I bought two bags. I've already eaten half of this bag. Ugh. I'm a big believer that, like, if you're craving something, if your body is craving it, that there's a reason, especially when it's something, like, I never crave. And that's the one thing that the doctors have always told me to kind of, like, keep an eye on with my, with my tumor and stuff. Like, well, you know, if you notice that you're craving something, make sure to eat it because, like, your body is craving it for a reason, you know? I carried a watermelon. Name that movie. Come on. On, name it let's go if you can't if you don't know it girl you can't hang and you can't dance and if that doesn't if that's not a clue i don't know what is but anyways so they were telling me that like i need to always be mindful of if and when i crave stuff especially fruits and like veggies because those have like certain nutrients and vitamins that we obviously need and so my hormones might be like depleting a certain vitamin and our mineral or some shit i don't know so now every time i'm craving it i'm like i must have it Unfortunately, they said that that didn't work when it comes to like chocolate and potato chips. They said like the rule doesn't apply, which is so dumb by the way, but whatever. Rude. Apparently I can't be like, yes, I am actually craving 17 chocolate cookies and like chocolate cookies, chocolate chip cookies and get away with it. I think I need butter, don't I? My God, I'm a hot mess. Okay, so this is about to be interesting. Oh wait, no, wait, shit. Ooh, this is no good. I have I have to do it every time I make chocolate chip cookies. I have to make a double batch because obviously he eats them like they're life changing. Well, they are, let's be honest. But I only have two bags of Ghirard or one bag of Nestle and two bags of Ghirardelli. And if you've been here for a while, his preferred, we did, I did like a bake off and I did all the same recipe, like everything. I changed the chocolate chips and I did Ghirardelli or Nestle and he, it was a blind taste test and he chose Nestle. Like those are his favorite. And now I only have one bag. Damn it. Oh my God, you guys, I went over in like a Hail Mary and I like checked my stash because I have like a whole stash of like my baking supplies because the way that I work it, by the way, I found two bags though, so this is exciting. But that's what I was going to say. So all winter I bake so much that I like accumulate baking supplies. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. Like I buy them when they're on sale, you know, this and that. I always watch the shelf life and then I bake throughout the summer sometimes, but I really bake in the winter. And so, um... I always like kind of accumulate them and I've had people that are like oh can I raid your baking supplies can I get this and I'm like bitch no you cannot I bought that on sale and if I have to replenish those chocolate chips I'm gonna have to pay full price and that's not good for nobody like I get really protective over my baking supplies obnoxiously so I'm like I get like nervous people are like hey I need like a little bit of brown sugar and I'm like <laughs> like I get I get nervous about it because I'm so, I'm so, what the fuck did I get on Paige? I just like dipped that in a big fucking, uh, like a dirty dish. That's cool. Good job, Paige. Well done. My sweater does not match my tank top. Oh well, what are you gonna do? I'm old, what can I say? But what was I saying? Oh yeah, so anyways, long story short, I get really apprehensive when somebody tries to like take my baking supplies. Like, it actually causes me like some weird form of anxiety. And it's not like I'm a greedy person. Like, I'm not greedy. But when it comes to stuff that like I use and I love and I know it, like, it, it makes me like, ah, like, please don't take my flour. Ah, don't take my shirt. No, I'm a child. Don't you fucking touch my chocolate chips. Like, who, who is this person? I don't know her, but she crazy bitch. Okay, so now let's actually like make something with our life. That's a good idea, Paige. And it's fucking hot in here. All right, I fixed that issue. And see, everybody's always like, Paige, you could take your sweater off. No, I can't. I am 95 years old. And if I take the sweater off, I'm just an old 28 year old. But if I leave the sweater on and I sit in my rocking chair, then I am upgraded back to my normal class of 95 year old, which is, let's be honest, that's just like me. That's like my spiritual name, if you will. So, okay, what do we need? We have to start, Paige, we have to bake something. Combine flour, baking soda, and salt. Flour, baking soda, salt. Ooh, ooh, flour, baking soda, salt. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> you guys, the dog. Oh my God, she is giving me a look right now. Yeah, that's the mad mug. Hey, beanie weenie. Who's mad mugging sissy? Hey, hey, being a weenie. She's so disgusted with me. Been a weenie. 
Yeah, there's the mad mug. Oh, honey, you're so cute. <laughs> it's because I woke her up. Like, can you tell that she was sleeping? She's so pissed. I love you. <laughs> Gotta change the battery. Whew. So is it like just a little bit sad that I just did all of that filming and my battery already died because I just filmed forever and I haven't even literally put one ingredient in here? That's so sad. I need a bowl. Can I tell you that one of you guys left me, I mean, you guys all leave me like the best comments, but one of my absolute favorite comments was somebody said, Paige, you could read the phone book and I would still be entertained. And I died because 100% I would totally make that entertaining. I remember when I was in fourth grade, and this is totally going to age me like 100 years. But when I was in fourth grade, I had the best teacher. His name was Mr. Hoover. Shout out. I loved him. He was my first male teacher. I was so nervous to have a male teacher because I didn't know why like boys taught us. Like I didn't understand. But I loved him so so much and he actually taught us like all of the old ways of things like he taught us how to read a phone book he gave us like 20 names we had to look them up on the phone book and find them and show them to him and he taught us like all the co oh, i'm sorry excuse you oven he taught us like all the common sense stuff that like you don't learn nowadays and i found out like last year one of my nieces told me that uh they actually don't teach freaking um what's it called uh, cursive anymore. I'm like, bitch, how you not teach cursive? And then my, uh, was it my mom? My mom, somebody, they were like, well, Paige, they barely taught you long division. And I was like, yeah, that's a good point. Cause I learned long division. They taught us like one real quick course on it. Move it along. Like we never use that shit again. And actually I remember, what is this for a double batch? Four and a half cups. I actually remember my teacher getting pissed at me because I wanted to like try and do my problems longhand like multiplication division all that I wanted to try and do them and they would get annoyed because I was going so slow and they were like just use your calculator and finally like they t they straight up came over to me they took my pencil away and they were like do it with a calculator you're holding the rest of the class up and I've never forgotten that because I was like gee Thank you for that. Like, I was actually trying to learn how to do it the old way, but that's fine. Really, that's great. Look at this big old baking soda beast. Two tispalo whispers. Sure, you better throw that salt. Wait, which shoulder does it go over? Hold on, I got an idea. Both shoulders, right on. Sure, mom will love that. That's another thing that literally in the winter, when I go to the store, I buy butter every time i go even if i'm only going for like oh we just need like toothpaste something stupid i'll be like better grab a pound of butter because on the weekends i bake so much it's ridiculous now i do heat these up in the microwave just to soften them a little bit everyone can have their argument but here's the thing i was i grew up a professional fat kid i know how to melt butter to the perfect temperature without getting gooey and just enough so it's soft and it beats in perfectly and until you had my damn cookies girl you cannot mess with me i am so sassy today i apologize i'm like yelling at you guys i'm like listen here do not insult my butter melting skills that's just who i am can't help myself i can't help myself ah, i can't help myself Ooh. <laughs> These are perfectly squishy, by the way. They're like just barely soft, but they are gonna beat together so wonderfully with the sugar. There's a coupon in this box. I repeat, there's a coupon in my box. P.S. Any recipe that ever calls for eggs, like that I know I'm gonna have to crack, I always save the butter container because I always put them in there and then I throw it away all at once. And then there's a lot less mess of like the egg nasties that travel and get all over. So if you ever cook with this, always save this as like a trough for all the nasty eggshells. You guys, I don't know what it is about me, but when I like cream the butter and the sugar together, it is like a trance moment for me. Like I just watch the whole thing happen. I'm just like, huh? It's like, uh, what is that? It's the freaking, come on now. What is, who is she? The Little Mermaid? When they take her voice or put her voice back and she's like, Ma! like that's me with butter. My dog is so disgusted with me. How cute was that face though? Come on, like let's be honest about it. She's so adorable, I can't even see straight. That dog is proving to be like, you know, you know they say that like God challenges you, right? To like rise above situations and whatnot. That dog is the biggest challenge of our lives. She is like, we've come to the conclusion and I think I've told you guys or most of you guys about this. She has given us like the biggest run for our money. Whoops, hello. And we think that she might be like 
you know, actually de men mentally deficient. Like, they actually said that there is a form of mental retardation in dogs, and we think that she might be that, like, a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot of it. Because she can't, like, understand or learn the most basic of commands. And it's so sad. One and a half cup and one and a half cup. So one and a half brown, one and a half white. But yeah, so it's kind of so sad. And we love her so much. And it's like, we keep talking, um, like my parents and I, and it's like, can you imagine if anybody else would have ended up with her? Like I told my parents when we were talking, I said, how many people would have like given her back because she's too difficult to deal with or she can't learn. Like she, they would have given her back and they wouldn't have loved her. God, it's just like, it breaks my heart to think that there are people that would think like that. But like, I, oh God, I don't know. I just, I, we could not imagine like as a family unit giving her back. Like she means so much to all of us. Like we could never get rid of her. Yeah, she might take a lot of time and patience. And honestly, there's probably stuff she'll never learn. Like we cannot get her to learn certain commands. Oh my God, I love brown sugar. What's the rule with vanilla, you guys? It is a suggestion or a minimum. I do not ever put in the amount of vanilla they say to put in. Cause I love vanilla in all my baked goods. I actually remember when I was younger, I made a, I think I was making like a cake or something and it called for vanilla obviously. And I remember I was pouring and I like accidentally like tripped or I fumbled or something and a bunch of the vanilla went in. I mean like probably an eighth to a quarter of a cup of vanilla went in this recipe and it tasted so good. And from then on, I was like, I'm not a screw up. I'm a genius. But you know, unbeknownst to me, like the whole world knew about this. I was the only one that did not. So for those of you that have been watching my channel for like a minute, what am I thinking about right now? 100% thinking about eating a little bit of this sugar and butter mixture. I remember in like one of my very first baking videos, I had talked to you guys and I said, yeah, you know, I, uh, when I was younger, we would make sugar, sugar, butter bread, where you take like a layer of butter, a layer of sugar on bread and you eat it. And it was like a poor kid's sandwich, you know, or whatever, like a poor kid's snack. And I thought everybody was gonna like laugh at me. And so many of you all were like, oh yeah, we did that too. Like, I just died because I ate those all the time. And so now anytime I cream like butter and sugar together, I'm like, oh, memories. <laughs> oh, it's so good though. Come on. Like butter and sugar, they were meant to be together. Otherwise they wouldn't taste this damn good. I better try this little chunk right here that's just hanging out. Oh yeah. Butter, sugar, brown sugar, yeah. They should put that in the instructions. Like, Paige, you fatty, quit, eat, quit eating the fucking butter sugar. Uh, gradually beat the flour mixture into this big old fat mixture over here. Okay, sir, don't mind if I do. Tell you. Uh, that rhymed a little bit. If you're new here, by the way, the recipe that I follow is the one on the back of the Nestle container. I've tried so many chip or chocolate chip cookie recipes, and their recipe is just so good. Like it's my favorite bar none. I've tried other ones. They're like too salty or they're too this or they're too mealy or the texture's not as good. The Nestle is so good. And there's a reason that it's the Nestle Tool House from Friends, you know, Phoebe, her grandma, Nestle Tool House. It was the one her grandma used. There's a reason because it's delicious. All right, yo, time to ask the chocolate chips, bitches. We always test for quality. Mm -hmm. Okay, that bag is good. We better test this bag real quick. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Where's my parchment paper? Okay, now just for clarification, I do use, this is like a small little ice cream scoop. This is what I use to like scoop out my cookies. And I do it because I am like the queen of the cookies start one size, but like they end up being literally three times that size, if not more. And I just try to like make them relatively consistent. Don't get me wrong, are they still ridiculously large cookies at the end of the day? Yes. Does a double batch make me about 30 cookies? Yeah, it does. <laughs> but that's all right, you guys. It's life's, life's too short to be picky. Just eat the big cookie and shut up. It's, it's a blessing, really. Think about it. How happy are you when you see a big cookie? You're pretty damn happy. When you see a little cookie, it's depressing because you're like, wow, somebody went through a lot of trouble to make me a small ass cookie. When I see a big cookie, I'm like, yeah, calories. I get so excited, I love cookies. I am going to run off of camera. I have got to clean a spot to put all these cookies because the same spot where these cookies go is the same spot that I screwed up with all the crap earlier. So I'm gonna fix that and I will be back in a few. Oh, beach! look at those cookies, motherfuckers. 
Look, it's so good. Okay, so did I maybe just stab one of them in the top with my thumb? Yeah, I might have done that, but who's, who's counting? Who cares? Still a damn good cookie. Yes, Alaskan bush people. We about to get turnt up in her. Oh my God. I remember when this show first came out years ago and uh, they did the interview with the Alaskan bush people and they were like, do you know who Kim Kardashian is? And they were like, who? Do you know what, like a, like a what was it? Oh, Facebook, do you know what Facebook is? And they were like, a book of faces? Is it like a yearbook? Like their interview was so funny. I love this show. I love these people. They are like some of the most good hearted fucking people you've ever seen in your whole life. I love it. Like, yeah, they might be different. We Obviously, we would be too if we were raised like literally in the bush of Alaska. Like, everybody's different. And they're just such good, honest, raw people. And they work so damn hard to live out there. Like, that's not an easy way of life. Oh my God. Like, they shit on ice cubes, people. Like, let's really, let's take this into account. Can you imagine how cold? Like, I bitch in the winter when my toilet seat is cold. Can you imagine how cold their outdoor toilet seat is? Fuck. So cold. Like, that's one of the worst parts about being a girl. You gotta sit down to pee. Which means, if you don't, if you can't hover or, like, you don't hover or whatever, you're sitting on the German-fested toilet seats that, I'm convinced they're covered in fucking herpes. Disgusting. The toilet seats are either too cold or they're hot and they like stick to your butt because they're so fucking hot in the middle of summer. Ugh. Yuck. Men are so lucky. They can just like swing that shit around. They don't gotta get germs on their fucking business. So before I shut the camera off, I just thought I'd show you guys the first two. Like look at that. Look at how big and delicious and spread out and crispy. Ugh. That is really, really zoomed. Oh, getting closer. Other way. Other way, bitch. So one of the things that I think is so funny, and then I'm going to actually turn the camera off for real this time, and I'm going to finish up the cookies. But um, <clears throat> I think it's so interesting because based on, like, the consistency of the cookie mixture, I've learned that I can make them, like, thinner or thicker, whatever. It all depends on how you mix the dough. And... I remember last time I did them like this, it was actually the middle of winter, and I thought I'd screw the batter up, oh my god, blah, blah, blah. And this is like my dad's favorite way. He likes like a crunchy cookie. He doesn't like them, like I love them when they're warm and gooey, that's like my favorite. And then from there, I like them to be in between. I don't like them to be too crunchy, I don't like them to be too soft, I like them perfectly in between. Like maybe some crunch on the outside, and then like some gooey, like squishy on the inside. My dad really just likes like a thinner, crispy, crunchy cookie. That's like his thing. And so I made these and I thought I'd screwed them up. And he's like, these are the best cookies ever you've ever made. And he loved them. He was so excited. My dad does not sound like a Herbert Hoover or whoever the fuck that was. But I remember when I made them last time, he was just like, those were so perfect. Like the consistency. And what's cool is that they actually, because it's like the same amount of batter. I use the same exact scoop that I've always used for like the last two years now. I've used that ice cream scoop. And um, they're the same exact amount of cookie, but because it spreads a little bit farther, people think that they get like a little more cookie, which is kind of cool. So anyways, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna eat my giant grapes because I'm craving fucking grapes still. And I've literally almost eaten a whole bag. Like, what does that tell you? A, that I don't know what, um, what is that, eating things, eating them, like rationing food. I'm not good at that. Like, if I'm craving it, I shovel it in. Anyways, I'm going to go finish these up, get these cookies done and in the oven. I'll see you guys shortly. Been a winner. Been a winner. Hey. Been a winner. Been. Can you say, whoop, 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 whoop. Sorry, that was my phone. Sorry, I may scare you, but hey, while you're looking. Hey, Benny Winnie. Is that thing too small for her? Hi, Benny Winnie. Want to see the other one? She's working really hard. This is my current mood. Time to go take a nap. Far too exhausted for today. That's right, Pooper. You get it. Can we just say, too, like, look at her belly. How it just kind of hangs out. Like, there ain't no dog shame in here. She's got a belly. She's proud of it. She's like, what's up? Look how cute I am. Look at this big thigh. Look at my ham hock. I know I'm sexy. I'm sexy and I know it. Cutest dog in the whole world. Bitch, I'm sorry. Who got all these cookies done? Oh, bitch. Look at those delicious cookies. Cookie, cookie, cookie. <laughs> I'm so tired. Don't judge me. <laughs> you have been making cookies for hours. <laughs> like three hours. You guys, I finally got all the cookies done. They look so good. They taste 
delicious and that's it that's all i got for you i just wanted to come on and show you my leaning tower of cookies because i was too lazy i have multiple cookie sheets out but then as i started to stack them i thought what about a cookie tower is not appealing nothing because it's a lot of cookies stacked on top of each other you can't go wrong so then as i started stacking them they were falling over but alas I created a cookie tower so that is all I have for you guys this week thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me if you love these videos let me know down below don't forget comment like subscribe all that good stuff and I think that that's it you guys go make some cookies and I'll talk to you later bye